Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a really very sweet little note pouch and you would put little love notes in here for somebody or pick me up kind of notes. Things that say um, you're amazing or I just want to send you a little happy and I'm just going to untie that ribbon and show you the inside. Just little those kind of notes that you just send somebody to make them feel special and there's slots for four in here. I haven't put anything on mine. Uh, they're not three by three, they're a little bit less than that. So yeah, very cute, very sweet. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these. And you need two pieces of designer series paper that is six by six or 15 by 15. And there is a reason why I'm using the crochet trim. It's forgiving because I've opened and closed this numerous times. Look at that, it's a pretty bow. So two pieces of six by six. So I've got this one, it's it's really funny. I not overly keen on this paper so I use it for my tests when I'm practicing something and then I find I really like the project so, <laughs> so six by six if you are metric cut yours down you will need to trim it down to 15 by 15 centimeters just to make life easier for yourself okay so on the first side whichever side you want it to go round is how you're going to score so score it at three quarters of an inch one and a half, I'll give you the metric in a minute, four and a half, and five and a quarter, which in metric is two, four, 13, and 11. And then turn it round and score it at three inches, seven and a half centimeters, and do exactly the same with the other piece. So three quarters, one and a half, four and a half, and five and a quarter, two, four, 13, and 11. Quiz it round and score it at three, which is seven and a half. Okay, let me move that out of the way. So this pouch itself, when it's finished, is three by three, so seven and a half by seven and a half. That's why you're not going to fit um, uh, three by three cards in it. Well, you would, but they, well, you wouldn't actually because it just, they wouldn't. Okay, so <laughs> that was complicated. So you need to concertina these edge pieces like that and that is so that we can get this uh, concertina side in it and repeat that it's exactly the same for both pieces so fold and concertina oh I've got a wibbly line there let's straighten that up and fold and concertina so that's the shape you're left with like that if I move my hands out of the way you see that so that's the shape you're going to you're going to be left with one of them you're going to fold up exactly as it is just like that this is really dodgy light today isn't it uh, just like that and we will be sticking bits together the other one we are going to fold it up like that but you actually need to take away one of these panels. So if I grab my big scissors, just one of them to the first crease, not the second. So that's all we've taken away. There is a crease there, but we've just taken one of them away because that is going to stick <laughs> get me the right way around to there and it will just bulk too much so if I bring this round if I open this up again you can see hopefully you can see that so that one's going to stick to that as is this one have I got that right? No! <laughs> oh dear, this is the one that goes in the middle. Oh, it hurts so much, doesn't it? <laughs> that one goes in the middle. So the one you've cut, we're going to just put some adhesive down there and stick it to that. So that's going to be the one we close up first and stick to the middle. So let me grab my fuse. So glue on there and there. 
and so this is the one that we've cut and just fold it up and make sure your lines are neat there we go so that's my first pouch done and that's going to sit inside there so this bit both of those parts we're going to glue I would avoid putting glue on that bit mostly because we're going to use this center part to position so if I tip this so you can see in the line I've avoided putting glue down there across the hinge or the center or whatever part you want to call that like I say that's mostly because I'm going to line up this one in the middle and make sure I've got it in place before I start closing everything round. So I've got wibble room here right now, but I wouldn't have done if I'd have stroked that glue all the way down. And again, making sure those lines, those parts all lined up. So I'm looking for the edges. press that's your little pouch made super super cute so because this is a three by three here your little notebooks that you want to put inside they need to be smaller they need to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters or seven by seven centimeters so two and three quarters and you need four of them let's have another one is that going to be oh look at that just wide enough and I didn't plan that and they're going to slip inside just in there oh I haven't punched my holes <gasps> I need to punch some holes for my ribbon because the ribbon obviously needs to come through there so this is the no idea what size handheld punch I really ought to resharpie this I did have it on but clearly sharpie is not permanent because it's rubbed off and I'm just eyeballing roughly where the center is and somebody's banging the door below me the garage is below me and somebody's in there banging the door useful I don't know what's going on down there I don't get involved this is the summer holidays still where I'm filming it's still the summer holidays um, and they're noisy can't get that through let's go that way love the crazy trim don't use it all that often oh, let's just throw that stylus around yeah, I don't really use it all that often. I'm not a kind of a crochet trim kind of girl, really. Um, but it, it looks great on this project. Okay, so now you slip your little notes in. So you'd write your notes and, you know, maybe to a friend who's for goodness sake, <laughs> shake the whole house. Um, yeah, to a friend who needs a little pick-me-up or something like that. Just little little love bombs you'd put into that. Or maybe to, like I say, to your loved one to say, um, you're a very special person in my life or, you know, to children. Oh, that would be great in the post. Oh, oh. My brain's going into overdrive. You know, children, there's loads of children who are going off to university for the first time. One of them in the post with a load of little love bombs in it. Oh, my brain's just gone into overdrive. Can you tell? Right, so I've got the painted harvest stamp set that says I, I'm thankful for you on the front. I've done this before. I'm going to show you again how I decide how big a piece of cardstock I want. So I'm lining it up on my grid paper. I happen to have the Imperial over. But that's okay. So two and a quarter by 
I'd say two and a quarter by one and a quarter. Let's have a look. Let's go for two and a half by one and a half and see what that does. So two and a half by one and a half and see what that would look like. That would look, look quite good actually. Let's stamp it. So grab a block and my Cajun craze just because it felt right. That's quite good actually. I've got my sponge. What did I do? But you can see this is where I did it before. Let me see if I can get a couple of these leaves out of it. The painted harvest and these leaves actually come as a bundle, which is really quite nice. And now I'm going to have to get another piece. Oh, look, handy. A couple of those. And just sponge. So I'm going to sponge around the edge of this. Oh, dropsy. And then use the ink that's left on there to go around just the leaves because the stalk of these leaves is going to get hidden. So I just want to go around the edges. I could use this with sponge daubers. I hate sponge daubers. I cannot bear the feel of them on my fingertips. Don't ask me why. Um, I just, oh, I, my skin goes ugh, ugh, like that. when I, Even the thought of putting a sponge dauber on my finger. Ugh. <laughs> please tell me I'm not alone please tell me I'm not the only person who feels like that with sponge daubers okay let's get some infuse on here so which side are we going to get we're going to go up there and there and onto the middle and I'm losing my voice and cute, adorable project done. There you go. You could stamp on each of these because this comes with these lovely little icons and motifs. And oh, little icons, too cute. Um, so you could put those on, you could put the, st the stamp sentiments on there, or you could simply write on them. And like I say, as it's popped into my head, this would be great. Maybe, to t you know, if you've got a child who's off to university, you could slip it into their wash bag or something. It's gonna be four days before they discover that, but you know, just so that they can find it at a later date, you know, just to say, you know, hey kid, mum and dad are thinking of you, we think you're amazing to be leaving home and starting on this journey, just things like that. And uh, I think that would be great. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I'm going to have a word with the people downstairs who are banging in the doors, the garage doors. Anyway, hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.